you. Hey guys, welcome to uh, the second episode of Campervan Cognizance. And uh, today I've got my awesome little nephew, Charlie, on board with me. His, his YouTube channel is CK Vlogs. I'll put a link in the description to this video. 12. What are we talking about today? Literally anything. Right, so you start, let's go. What do you want to talk about? Start with the boring grown up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. What yeah, what so. do you find really irritating and boring about grown ups? The fact that they always hog the TV it like in the night time. Like why do they think it's like so as soon as I wake up, I go downstairs, eat breakfast, watch the TV. But then as soon as I get back from school, I wanna watch the TV, but then mum's like but then all the adults are like, no, we're watching our Coronation Street and tele shopping and the news. We can't miss the news even though it's the exact same thing every day. It's just Brexit weather, Brexit weather. Talking about our horrible politicians like Boris Johnson. <laughs> right, so why, why don't you like Boris? Because he's literally just an English Donald Trump. <laughs> It's like they even look the same, kind of. Do you think they might be related? I mean, no, not really. No? No. Not even distant? Not even distant, no. no. I think Boris's hair is real though, isn't it? Yeah, Boris's hair is real. Donald Trump's probably, he's probably... My theory is that Donald Trump is bold and he wanted to look as stupid as possible to so put on that wig every time then said the w the stupidest thing he could he could think of because he knew that nobody would vote for the other person because they <laughs> even though that they had more than three brain cells <laughs> that's a that's a good little insight there is there yeah. any, any other politicians that you're not a fan of not really no. Yeah. Are they the main two? Yeah, those are the main two. Yeah, yeah. What would you do then if you were Prime Minister? Probably... Ban adults from watching Coronation Street? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would... Maybe on my second year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, what, I would... <laughs> what I would probably do is... Um, like If I was Prime Minister... Um... What I would do is, like, how about, well, say if I was President of America, yeah. what I would do is I'd first ban guns from being sold in shops. Really? Yeah. I'm on board with Unless that. you, um, um, like, the same with in Britain, I'd yeah. make it the same as in Britain, like, yeah. only specific shops. Yeah. With, with a specific age limit and a specific reason. Basically everything that's hard to say, such as specific to me because my teeth is weird. <laughs> Future Prime Minister right here, I think. <laughs> so what else would you do other than ban guns if you were American president? Make Kinder Surprise Eggs legal. Because it's <laughs> stupid. Like, you're allowed to go into a shop and buy an MK47 if you're 18. Like, for no other reason other than... I want an MK47, but it's full on illegal to buy a Kinder Surprise Egg. That's stupid. That, that is pretty It's a crazy. Kinder Surprise Egg. What? It's like, probably because it's a, a sweet that actually, that doesn't Why are get they rid banned? of five years off of your life. Cause like all of it is like completely, basically all sweets from America are just, Corn syrup and sugar blocks. Yeah. With a bunch of artificial food colourings and stuff. And then the word sweet. You could literally sell something with a name like the brown sweet tastes of nothing. <laughs> and then put corn syrup in it and a tiny bit of sugar. And kids are going to be like, <gasps> look, the best thing ever. You know, it has literally no taste. It has sugar. <laughs> And it's tons of corn syrup. Hooray! Now I'm gonna bankrupt my parents to buy a billion of these a year. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so you'd ban guns, or you would at least implement gun controls, yes. so it's harder to get them, and you'd reinstate Kinder eggs. Because like, like the only bad thing about them 
It's a choking hazard. Yeah. But that's the same for literally everything, every small toy with plastic. Yeah. Good point. Anything else you want to add to your list? Um, probably, uh, I'd help the environment by, say, like, I'd probably, uh, um, get rid of, like, 50% added onto the price of plastic. Yeah. So less people will buy it, yeah. so less of it will go to waste. Or I'll make it illegal to put plastic in the regular bin unless there's literally no room at all. Mm. That's good. Envir yeah. Little budding environmentalist. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you want to talk about, Rich? I'm quite interested in uh, your perspective on things, to be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're here for. We're here to get. We're here to tap into your brain, tap into the future of our country. Oh. You are the future. I mean, I guess that's, that's true. That's why I'm literally, so interested. I mean, I guess that's true. With literally, any child on the planet. It is. It's like the youth is the future. What do you think adults now could do to make your future better? Probably, I mean, all I can really think of is, like, all I can think of now is something that my friend told me, that this YouTuber, that this Flat Earther YouTuber, Mr. Yeah. Beast, is planting 20 million trees to help with the environment. Really? Like, I don't know why, but I just don't like him. Like, is it he's because really... he's a Flat Earther? No. <laughs> Not, not just that. I mean, like, the thing is, like, it's what, like, he's not just, like, any flat earther who just believes in it and then walks off to have a regular day. Mm. It's He's, like, full on forcing people to believe it and then saying other things. Like, he made a full video. This video will prove that the earth is flat, apparently. Basically, he got... The most two of the most powerful magnets in the world. One to him, one to the one to his friend. Um, they were both on at exact opposite sides of the earth to see if the magnets would attract, thereby proving if it, the earth is flat or not. When they didn't attract, he said that it was the earth was flat, which doesn't make sense because if it was flat, the magnets would have connected. Yeah. Because there's re nothing to go through. Also, if the Earth was also if the Earth was flat, the magnets wouldn't have connected because they couldn't have been above and below each other. Yeah. There's nothing on the bottom of the flat Earth, is there? No. I think it's supposed to just be a floating disk in space. Yeah. And also, how do they expect magnets to go through the whole attract through the entirety of Earth? I know. So they basically rigged it. But then, like, it's not just that. I mean, I'm fine with him being a flat earther. I mean, he can believe whatever he wants. Yeah. But it's the fact that he's he's probably faking some of it. It's like he in order said, to get likes and stuff. Yeah, he's like faking it to get likes. And, like he never brings it up in any other video apart from one, and th and then he does other things. Like in that video, he says. I need to be careful on this plane because apparently pe people die from shark attacks every year but we know that sharks aren't real it's just people who fell off the edge and <laughs> that's insane yeah and then also saying clouds were put there by the government <laughs> so so you can't see the end of the earth because <laughs> if they weren't there you'd be able to see the end of the earth oh my god yeah he's that an idiot crazy. he's a dimwit <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not even believing it. You can see him trying to keep a straight face when he says really? it. He's literally like... Is this guy quite popular? Has he got loads of followers and oh, subscribers? No. Yeah, he's the highest earning YouTuber in the world. Really? Yeah, he's not the richest. Even, even higher earning than, is it PewDiePie? Well, he doesn't have as many. Yeah. But it's like his subscriber count is rising and so is his money. All oh, right, okay. Basically, he spends a lot of money on things, but he's such a nice guy. Yeah. But the thing is, he profits off, off being nice. Like, 
saying, I gave £10,000 to a homeless person. Yeah. That's great. But if you're doing it, you shouldn't record it. Yeah, don't tell everyone. It's not no. selfless, is it? If no, you have to broadcast like, it. That's just doing it. For publicity. Get, for, for publicity, yeah. yeah. And then, like, another one that just... Sometimes he's not even helping them. He's being horrible. Yeah. Like one time, he bought everything in a shop, and then, like, he he gave all the food to a homeless shelter. But what he did with the food was, he didn't let anybody else in the shop. He went to the most populated shop in the area. He even said it himself. I'm going to the most populated store, please, American, mm. in the in the entire tri-state area yeah and then what he did was bought everything in the shop he didn't let anybody back get anything for themselves apart from one item he went up to two people saying say anything you want and i'll buy it for you one thing they asked for like a can of beans one of them asked for a can of beans the other asked for a can of coke it's not going to get you very far is it no like, right. He paid them to do it, though. He paid them to say that. Did he? Yeah. And another one, uh, I played Monopoly with real money. Um, he actually made people bankrupt. He made them put their own money into the game. So he fully bankrupted them. That sounds a bit dodgy. But they gave him £25 at the end. 25 that's literally it. Yeah. Is, it is this guy British, is he? No, he's American. Is he? Yeah. So, give me a YouTuber that you do like. Dan TDM. Dan TDM. Yeah. So, do you want to tell do you want to tell the audience about the Dan TDM event we went to? Oh yeah. The uh, what was it called? The contest. Yeah, yeah. Best night of my life. Best night of my life. And the food outside was good as well. That hot <laughs> dog was delicious. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you had a bite, didn't you? I probably ate it all. Yeah, you, you probably ate the rest. It was like, <laughs> I only want the sausage and not the bun. You can have the bun, bitch. <laughs> it's like, you can have the bun, I just want the sausage and nom. Did, we t did our team win? So, no, we got explain, second. explain how it Basically, worked. Basically, there's an app, the Dan TDM, the contest app, don't... Don't get it, it's completely pointless now. <laughs> it's just like, you are a member of the da 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 tribe. These are the things you can do. Watch for daily uploads. There was there was only like one thing a month though. Yeah. It's kind of scam, yeah. That's not really daily, is it? If no. it's once a month. Should have just said monthly. A bit of false advertising yeah. there. Should have just said, get monthly updates. Yeah, so there was there was three tribes, wasn't three there? Three tribes. Telonian, Arctican and Arborian. Yeah. That was it, I'm and they had to pick people from the audience, didn't they, to go and play yeah, games on the stage? Yeah, kids to play with them. Also, if they chose me for that last game, the Thelonians would have won. Our team would have won. Do you think? Yeah, because remember how good I am at Smash Bros? Yeah. That was that was what it was. Wasn't that it? was yeah. literally just an easier, insanely badly, in badly controlled Smash Bros. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. would have destroyed them. It's a shame. I think we. Yeah, we got second, second yeah. yeah, yeah. All because of extra points. Yeah, yeah. wasn't there like an evil tribe? Yeah. Crack and Ack. Yeah, the, the Crack and Ack. They came in at the end, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they came in at the end and they like hacked the computer system. S system. So it's hard to say my S's. So, <laughs> so yeah. Don't worry about system. it. System. <laughs> if I was asking what. Like. <laughs> if I actually had a. Like. If. I think that happened once. Like when I was really young, I think it was like five or something, and then yeah. grandma, grandma said, what do you want for dinner? Pasta with no sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally said it like this, <laughs> instead of like a s <laughs> It was probably the funniest moment of my life. Grand I told grandma never to bring it up. Did you? Yeah. She's never told me, so she's kept her word there. Yeah, she's kept her word there. But you've just told me and all of YouTube. So you've not really done a very good job of not bringing it up yourself, have you? I think Grandma actually kept the secret better than I did. And she did, definitely. Even though it's twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, 
Yeah, Dad TD had the contest. Uh, really good. Uh, what would you give it out of ten? Ten. Ten. Best night of my life, yeah. Yeah. The only and and I remember constantly video calling Marios, but he had no data, so it was yeah. like <laughs> and his screen was super blurry. He said that mine was the clearest screen he's ever seen. Yeah. And then I said, "You were." You were harder to understand than a Scottish scat man wearing a diving helmet. <laughs> I reckon that'd be pretty hard to understand. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the only one word I could hear, which was Arctican, so it must have been saying the Arctic had a better. They weren't. They got last place. <laughs> the Aborian. Well, we didn't win. The no. Aborian did, but but that's beside the point. The Aborian kind of cheated. So like, I think in the last round they brought in an older person than all the others. Yeah, yeah. Usually they try to pick out ones that were the same age, but the guy up there was around eleven or twelve, while the yeah, others yeah. were like eight and nine. Yeah, yeah. Bit of an unfair advantage there. No. I think if we went back, we'd win. If we got you up there. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It was only the last one. The Tolonian did amazing on the first one. Like I would. On yeah, our we, were, own turn. we were miles ahead, weren't we? At the yeah, start. we were miles ahead at the start. But then, like, we got second. Like, well, that's better than last. Definitely better than last. And I don't, we weren't too far off winning, were we? No. We'll we have to like, go again if he comes yeah. back round. Yeah. And make sure we get you on stage. Didn't it? Does it only come around every millennia, though? <laughs> Didn't they say that, like, well, the hopefully... contest only comes around ev once every millennia? That was literally one of the questions to get a bonus point. Yeah. When does it come? How? So what we've got to hope for is that scientists come up with some awesome exoskeletons that we can just plug our brains into. So yeah. then we'll still be around in a millennia, and then yeah. you can have a go. Yeah. Yeah, but then since we were robots, we'd like have our brain. Like if we had that technology, then we could literally just aim at everything. Yeah. Like games wouldn't be fun anymore because everybody just be everybody yeah, yeah. It's like it's the exact way thing of like an impen um what is it uh uh in an indestructible force meets an immovable object yeah. isn't that yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well i actually saw a theory something like that yeah i can't remember exactly like, that phrase but i know what you're talking yeah. about so i actually saw a theory about it basically one punch man that Saitama from the anime yeah. versus Captain America's shield. Yeah. Basically, an unstoppable force, Saitama versus an immovable object, Captain yeah. America's shield. Um, it ended up um, One Punch Man winning because he's One Punch Man, he destroys everything in One Punch. It's literally in his name. <laughs> one Punch Man is his game and be is his name and killing everything in One Punch is his game. It's literally in the name. Going back to robots, yeah. what do you think of artificial intelligence? Do you know I much about it? I think we shouldn't it? get it too out of hand. Yeah. Because, like, like, if we give robots sentience, they're robots, they're more advanced than us in literally every way. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, they're made out of metal, they're hard to destroy. Like, if we gave robots sentience, then everybody's life would be basically the Terminator movie. <laughs> Just robots go like, hey, I'm a robot, so am I. Let's fight! <laughs> That's literally the entire premise of Terminator. <laughs> Should have said spoiler alert. Here's the entire premise of Terminator. I'm a robot. I'm a robot too. Let's fight! <laughs> Boom. Just have you seen Terminator? No, I've never seen it. I was going to say. But I have seen the trailers for it and have I've you? heard his, uh, the famous catchphrase, I'll be back. <laughs> kind of like, I also, I, I've seen that. That's been turned into a meme. Like, basically, this guy, this guy fakes, like, he says, I'm, 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 I'm going to steal these skills. Then the, then the shopkeeper says, you're banned for a week. You're banned forever. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really funny. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what do you think about artificial intelligence or AIs? 
I don't know. I've got a book to read at the moment. I've just downloaded it. Yeah, um, audio Well, an audio book. That's cheating, not to though. Read. It yeah, is that's cheating. cheating. Audio it's books cheating. are cheating. But when you drive a lot, it's yeah. handy. Yeah, because rather than listening to the same old rubbish on the radio, yeah, you get like, educated. Yeah, because that's all that you hear on the radio is this. Brexit news, Brexit news. <laughs> About 40 people have died from an adult who's very bad at doing what he's doing. It's like, I'm trying to hide this. Fifth, <laughs> then, then somebody on the radio, instead of actually helping, they just go, somebody has killed another person. And another person. I know that they're right behind me, but I cannot listen to any of you, because because every news reporter only has two emotions, and <laughs> that, that's it. That was that was it. That was a pretty. True, that was a pretty. That's true though. Yeah, that, like, was, that like, was a pretty cool tangent that you just yeah, went like, off on there. The emotion thing though is right. Like you only ever see them like this. Also, what is it when they change the screen? They pause for like nine seconds and they're just staring at you. What? And and then there's a. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, do you think they do that? Do you think they're just they're used being... to having like staring competitions with other news readers, so they feel like they need to stare the nation out at the end? Well, maybe they're just being idiots. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that, that, that could yeah, Maybe be. it's just like, maybe it's like, should I start the script now? What's my script? What's my script? <laughs> oh, here it is. So, and today, Jim and Bob went up the staircase and one of them fell down. <laughs> I think you'd be a fantastic newsreader, mate, <laughs> honestly. We should get some auditions for you. <laughs> but going back to art artificial intelligence. Yeah. When artificial intelligence, like you're saying, when we have that sentient aspect to computers, essentially they will be able to design better versions of themselves. I'm Which... sure there's a name for this. But then we become redundant. Like we're no use anymore because yeah. they can continually adapt and develop a better version yeah. of themselves constantly. Some people and... are paranoid about ants. Ants? Yeah. Why? I don't know why. It's like there's this weird thing going around where some people are afraid of ants. Like, for one reason. Apparently, some people think if one thing changed, they'd be the dominant species. Really? Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Is it like... I'll have, to look in. I'll have to have a look into that. What, so maybe something changed evolutionary and ants were massive or something? Yeah, I think it's like... A genome thing. Yeah. Speaking of genes, wow, we're on a roll today with these contractions. We are. Speaking of this, it's like every 50 seconds as well, we don't even get a chance to explain it. We're just like. Speaking about genes, <laughs> isn't there this thing called CRISPR? Where they use um, a molecular substance called Cas9 to cut out parts of your DNA or RNA and then stick other parts of DNA into it. Um, China's actually used this to create extra muscular dogs for military purposes. Have they really? Yeah. Where did you find this information out? A video, uh, video on Game Theory, how to break how to break Luke Cage. Yeah. You know Luke Cage, the guy on Netflix, yeah, yeah. has impenetrable skin. Basically what they, what he's got a good point, basically they use CRISPR to get his skin invulnerable. Right, okay. So he's thinking of using CRISPR to change him back. Right. Basically, so he describes it as, as this. He'll turn, we just need to pierce that outer wall cedar and take get rid of the skin and then Luke's just as vulnerable as you or me. He'll turn from rock hard skin to please don't look at my saggy love handles human skin. <laughs> I don't think Luke would be very happy about that would he? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey but he's on Netflix and Marvel doesn't have that high budget for the Netflix and I heard that they usually get pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen Luke Cage. It was all right, to be fair. Not as good as the actual film, so no, no, it's no. a lot lower budget. It is. I heard that apparently, yeah, also his opening was hilarious. It's basically showed him punching a wall 
make a crack in it and then he says sweet Christmas and then, and then <laughs> sweet Christmas and then and then the guy then the guy on film theory just goes wait to neglect the Jewish viewers Luke sweet Hanukkah much <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely one of my favourite YouTubers. <laughs> Who's that? Ga game Theory and game Film theory. theory. His full name is Matthew Patricks. Yeah. And he calls himself Matt Pat. Also, no, also sometimes he calls himself Fat Pat. Fat Pat? Yeah. Because <laughs> he, like, he always says... He eats too many of those American sweets, does he? No. He drinks too much uh, Diet Coke. He literally says that in every video. He has mentioned Diet Coke in every single video apart from one. He must be sponsored. He isn't sponsored. Isn't he? No, he's always sponsored by things that don't have ads like Disney XD. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right, should we move on again to a different topic? Sure. Which you're really passionate about at the minute. Climbing. So, Charlie. <laughs> I was like, Charlie, something rich. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie is a new little prodigy rock climber. So we've got him a Boulder membership. Boulderer. 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 Yeah. Boulderer. I'm trying to get sponsored by it. It's like <laughs> say, if you, if you come here a bit a bit oh, a bit more often, we might actually sponsor you. Is that what like, they said? Is it? Yeah. Like I. So Charlie I, I climbs went, at Boulder Hut. What I did. What I did though is I just. Like this is this is kind of a funny story because I would just smile and they said thanks on the inside. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get sponsored. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Another thing that Charlie did as well at Boulder Hut was you offered to coach like the younger kids as well. They didn't said you? in six years when I'm sixteen. But yeah. It, well. That's a pretty kind thing to do. Yeah. Like I better put. You're that... still gonna do it. Yeah. Like just. Randomly when you're climbing with the yeah, because usually there's a party going on. It's kind of annoying though, because there's always like fifty of them, even though I'm only allowed to bring like two. It's like there's always like fifty of them, and they hog the equipment. I try to help, and it's like, you know, you're only supposed to use one color. Yeah. We can do what we want. It's our party, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just... It's lucky that you you can go on the big walls, isn't it? Yeah. It gets like, a bit busy on the, anybody there. on the boulder zoo, doesn't it? Yeah. The, the boulder zoo is still good for practice. Yeah. Also, I finished number nine. Did you? Yeah, I did number nine. They we, they so, no, so there's a set of problems in the boulder zoo from one to ten. Yeah. One being the easiest, ten being the most difficult. And you, we went one day. Ten and isn't you did the most difficult eight. one. Nine is the most difficult. Is it? Because you've already done ten, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've done ten. Technically, but... ten's supposed to be the most difficult. Yeah, even though know. nine is. It's yeah. like, what were they thinking? Like, but there are some other ones in there that you could do. And there's this specific move. Spe I, I specific. Can't specific. Specific move. A South Pacific. I always say, I was South Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> a specific <laughs> a specific move which is my least favourite it's called a dino basically this is how you do a dino ok I'm grabbing onto it <laughs> did you just smash your head <laughs> don't be doing that I haven't got liability insurance oh yeah <laughs> so, sorry, Rich. <laughs> so, oh, I'm doing everything wrong today. <laughs> I think you're doing great, mate, for your first podcast. Yeah. Mm. So what what colours have you done on the big walls now? Have you done you've done a red, haven't you? Yeah, done I've a done red? a red. Is that a V two? I did a yellow as well. Did you? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get your professional climbing free solo in El Capitan. You don't know what that is, do you? No. <laughs> it's like, you so it's in Yosemite. Is. Have you heard of Yosemite National Park in America? No. It's a big, beautiful national yeah. park. The, only, bears and the trees only park and I've heard of is Central Park. That's the only one I've heard There's of in no America. There's no mountains in Central Park. Central Park is, yeah, it's in the middle of New York City. There's lots of. Wait, where's New York ponds. City on it? Where's New York City on what? Uh, it, on, on the American map. 
New York City is northeast. So it should be called. So there's the American map. Yeah. New so, York's so, it, up so here. it should be called instead of Central Park, it should be called Northeastern Park. No, because it's central to New York. It's in the middle of New York. But it's not central. It's, it's not. not se it's, it's not called Central American Park. It's called. It's, it's just called Central, Central Park. Park. So that that doesn't indicate that it's. That I'll just. We'll stop talking about this now. I think we should. I think. Yeah. We're, I think we're going down a rabbit hole here. Aren't yeah. We? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what were we talking about? Um, climbing climbing. In, the, in the park in America. Yosemite National one. Park. Yeah. So, essentially, El Capitan is one of the hardest climbs in Yosemite. The nose of El Capitan. And there's a guy that's done it without any ropes. And it's about a thousand metres up, just at over a thousand metres. So he climbed up this thing and he's doing dinos on the way up and everything with no ropes, no nothing. Not even a parachute if he fell off. So if he'd have fell off, he'd have... He dead. Yeah. He dead. It would have been night-night nurse. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe you'll do that someday. Do you remember the name of the place in France that that guy told us about? No, but I do remember him saying it was in Paris. Uh, near Paris. The no, bouldering in Paris. place. In Paris. I'm sure... It, no, it wasn't, was it? The massive park in Paris. Is it in Paris? Yeah, it's in Paris. All oh, right. Bonjour Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Fluent in French as well as a climber. No, I'm not. I, I literally only I know joking. about four words. Go on, what, what French tonight. words do you know? I know that door is portal, quack is coin. What? Quack it's is not coin. actually these words. I can't pronounce the real one, so I just say the easiest English equivalent. <laughs> I know how to count to ten, I think. Yeah. Où do toi cart sight? Cease. Cease. Set. Set. Wheat. Wheat. Nerf. Tennis. Like dice. Dees. Yeah. <laughs> things. Yeah? Yeah. What is it with... Wait. Nerf stole their name from French. Nerf. Hmm, I wonder if there is some French connection there. There isn't. Every, uh, everything that... Nerf's American. I mean, it's not technically American, because literally everything is made in China nowadays. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> like, like you can't say this is an American brand because it's made in China. Yeah. Like you can't say this is a British brand. It's made in China. Yorkshire tea bags made in China. <laughs> you say it's the most British tea made in China. I'm pretty sure Yorkshire tea bags aren't made in China. They are. Are they? Yeah, I, I looked on the back of the case and it said, made in China. Seriously? Seriously. They say I think there's a... a lot of people in Yorkshire that aren't going to be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's, it's made in China. Crazy. Yeah. Speaking of China, not really China, South Korea, North Korea. I, the, no, no. How about, since before we were talking about politicians we don't like, yeah. how about we talk about tyrants? Yeah, go for like, it. Like, tyrants, uh, what's the other word? Dictators. Dictators, yeah. Such as Hitler. Yeah. So, yeah. I think the two worst, three worst dictators, all of them are tied at number one. Hitler, obviously, Kim Jong-un, and that Russian guy. The Russian guy? Yeah. The really bad Russian guy. Stalin? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there are some other ones, but... Those are the only three I know. Yeah, Pol Pot's another bad one. Who's that? You probably won't learn about him until high school. Why? That was He was in Cambodia. A part of the Khmer Rouge. Oh, I've heard of that, yeah. It wasn't very nice. But yeah, dictators aren't good. No. Not at all. That's why I think... So what's your theory on dictators? Why did you want to bring that up? Like, my theory of dictators is it's not their fault. It's like, some dictators have, like, a bad past. Yeah. They have a reason. Yeah. Like, same with, like, killers and stuff. Yeah. Most of them come from, a, like, a bad family. Yeah. That's, prob that's probably because of the education system. Like, they never... Look, I, I don't think... I, school is... It's good, but... I mean, there are some things it needs to teach you, like taxes, or how to be a good parent, Yeah. or 
literally anything that's actually useful. Like, when am I ever going to learn use the things I learned in English? Like, Shakespeare? Like, when am I ever going to be going into the room like, huh, well, I don't know anything useful, but I know Shakespeare. Now I'm going to recite Hamlet for no reason. <laughs> I think the key thing, <laughs> I see where you're coming from, but vocabulary and stuff vocabulary, like that develops yeah. with reading poetry But Shakespeare and made plays. up words. He, Shakespeare was really good. I mean, they invented the term... I think he invented the term love letter. Yeah. Yeah. But he also made some insanely weird... Like, you know how James Bond does... Like, speaking of James Bond, how about films? Films? Yeah. Wait, have you seen the new... Um, what was it? I forgot what it was. Men in Black. I've not seen it. Men in Black International. Is it good? Oh, it's hilarious. Is it? The end twist is amazing. Is it? Are we I going for spoilers end... here? No, no, spo no spoilers. No, don't click off because I mentioned Men in Black International. <laughs> it's... No spoilers. He hasn't seen it either. No. No. Watch it though. Funny. Every... It's hilarious. Yeah. What's your favourite film then? Probably Avengers Endgame. That's it was hilarious. Good. We watched that together, didn't we? Yeah, we, we watched that together. We watched quite a few of them together, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, we I think both of us. Black Panther. Yeah, that was... Oh, that Did was we watch good. Infinity War together? Yeah, we watched Infinity War together. That was... Oh, that was amazing. We're big fans of Marvel, aren't we? Yeah. It's like, Wakanda forever! <laughs> <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I remember that. I remember seeing a meme. Basically, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, the character Brock does this, yeah. and then somebody posted that picture onto Facebook or something, onto Snapchat, and then put in, and then put as a caption, we're Kanto forever. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, something that's just clicked into my mind. What? We, we discussed about doing an experiment on the podcast, oh, yeah. didn't we? The jumping pepper. 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 So do you want to explain that? Yeah. Basically... Uh, it's a static electricity experiment. Hey, remember when we made those? Remember when we had that? We made the jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. It was. They were gone in about three days, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Do you remember what? Do you remember how we did that? Because I can't. No, I can't remember it. I remember chemicals. Essentially, it was cool-looking, different coloured jellyfish things, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Clear liquid. Why do? Using different droplets of chemicals. Uh, chemical compounds. Yeah. What else did we do? What was your favourite experiment that we did? We did a few, didn't we? Yeah. I think it was probably the jellyfish. And there was that other one as well. Which one? The seaweed. The one where it looked like nebula, like a nebula. Yeah, that was definitely the best. Yeah, yeah, that looked pretty sick, didn't it? Yeah. All, th all of those were gone in about a week, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so back, to, what... back to the pepper experiment. Yeah. Basically, you know how... If you rub a balloon on your head like this, yeah, for about thirty minutes <laughs> or thirty hours, and then you take it off, your hair sticks up. Yeah, that doesn't really happen unless you do it for ages. Yeah, like it makes like one hair. It depends if you give it a good rub. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like my hair's sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 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 so what do you do with the pepper? Basically, put a bunch of salt and pepper onto a plate. Yeah. Also, if you don't want to get your balloons dirty, then don't do this experiment. <laughs> if you don't want to get your balloons dirty. Yeah. I don't think that phrase has probably ever been uttered in the history of YouTube. I so guess you just made something phrase. completely original then. Well Pow. done. I think that's definitely original. That hurt my hand. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> it was me. I went like, pow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Salt and pepper on a plate. Um... Rub it against your head, a good rub for yeah. about five minutes, and then stick the balloon over it, a very simple experiment, and then the pepper and the salt will, like, jump, jump up. Jump up between it? No, don't, won't, it will stay on it. Oh, will it? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's because of the um, chemicals in it yeah. changing slightly. I mean, all the salt goes on because it's just two chemicals. Yeah. Sodium and chlorine yep 
So oh. give me your favourite scientific fact or theory. The fact is that I know a lot of these, so it's probably not going to... It's the first one that comes to your head. Boom. That if you travelled at the speed of light, or... Uh, if When you're travelling at the speed of light, you, you can't go past it. it light is invincible. Because it shrink, cause you shrink and time slows down. Mm. It's the universal speed limit, isn't it? The speed yeah. Limit. So, I guess if you're too tall just go the speed of light for a few seconds you'll shrink a bit and then you can just go without bumping your head on the door <laughs> that, that's a great that's a great bit of insight yeah. for tall people though. yeah so it's travel like, at the speed of light tall people yeah and you won't hit your head on no doors anymore no i don't think anybody has ever said that sentence either <laughs> probably not so we've both got one now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I also saw this video. Struggles only short people understand. Have Um I don't get the first one. Having a tall girlfriend be like <laughs> and That's it, that's the whole video. That's the whole that's video. That's literally the whole video. Yeah. There's some strange memes and stuff out there these yeah. days, isn't there? I I've, have you seen the one? I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. I saw one. What is it? What thing? Basically, you stick the face of something. Yeah. Um, like onto the screen, below it. I fear no man, but that thing. And then... You so you would like someone you didn't like? You'd Photoshop the head onto it? Yeah. Yeah. The, or, like, some people do it as, to be funny. Like another one, do you, basically, to understand this, uh, shakily, um, fairy types are strong against dragon types in Pokemon. Yeah. So they put a Charizard, a Mega Charizard X, yeah. which is a dragon fire, on top of, on top, I fear no man, but that thing, and then a Jigglypuff, it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. It's like, that is true though. I had a Mega Charizard X level 79 and I was beaten by level 49 Jig Jigglypuff. It wiped out my entire team. That's a humiliating defeat there, isn't it? It really is. To a isn't. little basically pink bit of candy floss. Yeah. Speaking of that, there is a literal candy floss po whipped cream Pokemon now in Sword and Shield. Really? Yeah. A whipped cream Pokemon. They're running out of ideas, I think, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's like, they've even got one. It, it's got a pun in its name. I quite like it. I think it was... Poltygeist? Poltygeist? And it's just this purple, purple, like, very cylindric purple head with eyes and a mouth like... <laughs> I'm possessing a teapot. <laughs> Look at me. I'm possessing a teapot. And for that reason, I deserve to be a fire type. <laughs> it's a fire type. It's a ghost fire. I'm just kidding. It's a water type, but that still doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at yeah. all. Mate, I think we're going to have to wrap up because uh, tea's going to be ready and I don't want your mum shouting at me. Yeah. So... Have you got any final thoughts before we wrap up this episode? How's your experience been on Camper Van Cognizant's podcast? You had awesome. fun? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Are we going to do it again? Definitely. Sweet. Right. So, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, yeah. This was episode two with the awesome Charlie, yeah. giving us some good insight into politics, it's... Pokemon, yeah. science, and dictators, of all yeah. things. Yeah. Also, if you cut up, also, last thought, um, <laughs> this proves how, this proves why dictators are bad. If you take the first three letters, get rid of everything else, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> I 
I'm going to put uh, a link to Charlie's channel in the description to this CK video. CK 12. Yeah. He's Sucks done some cool climbing videos and other random stuff on there, haven't you? Like me dancing in my onesie, saying dance for your bees. Yeah. Very interesting stuff. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, dude. Right. It's been a pleasure. Okay. See Rich you. and Charlie, out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's turn the video off. Bye ya! Uh oh.